Chronic cigarettes dangerous. At this point, the public health expert in me is screaming, of course, you idiot, do you know nothing? Certainly, there are very real fears that these sleek electronic tubes are hooking a new generation of kids on nicotine and that this drug should not be considered safe and socially acceptable in any form. But, as with most things, reality is a little more complex. Electronic cigarettes are primarily designed to get nicotine into your body via your lungs without many of the downsides of conventional cigarettes. The beauty of the system is that you retain the physical experience of smoking, or vaping as it's called in this case, but without the actual smoke. E-cigarettes use a liquid such as glycerin, into which ingredients like nicotine and even flavorings are dissolved. When you take a puff, this liquid is vaporized in a hot wire and forms a cloud of fine particles that, when inhaled, penetrate deep into your lungs. The good news for smokers is that electronic cigarettes don't produce many of the harmful compounds that burning tobacco does, and you get less harmful side stream smoke that regular cigarettes produce. So at first blush, e-cigarettes look like a great way to get your nicotine hit. They might even possibly help some people kick the smoking habit, although the jury is still out on that one. But vaping on an e-cigarette still means pumping your bloodstream full of a toxic substance. Nicotine is addictive, it's toxic at high doses, and it has a whole range of effects at lower doses that may not be good for you. But surprisingly, there's not much known about whether the occasional vape presents a significant risk. However, when you puff on an e-cig, it's not just nicotine you're inhaling. Recent research has shown that in addition to what they're designed to do, some electronic cigarettes deliver a range of hazardous metals and other chemicals direct to your lungs with each inhale. Admittedly, these only seem to be present at very low levels, probably too low to be dangerous in most cases. But without regulations on e-cig performance and use, this may not always be the case. What's worse, because of these potential contaminants, even nicotine-free electronic cigarettes may be more harmful than people think if they're not regulated. That said, there's no reason why the technology can't be developed to avoid unwanted contamination. The trouble is, while agencies like the US Food and Drug Administration can potentially regulate e-cigs on the basis of their nicotine content, it's not quite so clear how much jurisdiction they have over other substances that may be in your EPUF, whether they're intended to be there or not. If you have any thoughts on electronic cigarettes and their regulation, please join the conversation in the comments. And remember to check out the additional resources.